Hello everyone, welcome to runout.tv We're going to have a game against Tall Steve today A race to six I'm not sure on the settings, it might be winner breaks I'm not sure, we'll find out As you can see my rating is pretty poor I'm sorry I've not been on much this week I have had, um, you know, you're all involved in Sunday League football now, managing a team with someone else. We managed to get to a cup final. It was cup final week. We lost 7-2, which wasn't great, but that actually doesn't do us any justice at all. We were very much in the game until we got our centre-half sent off for a last-ditch challenge that he gave away a penalty. So I've not played a lot of VP4 recently. I was playing a bit of snooker yesterday. Um, but I haven't played much online at all, I haven't played any online tournaments for ages now um, so that's a nice clear and top call Steve and uh, apart from that I'm just checking in doing a quick video so as you can see I've got no shot here um, I can hit the one but whether it's sensible to do so or not I don't know I might just play push out here Now you see I put bottom on the ball, that's a good way of sometimes checking, uh, as in holding the white up. Oh, I hit the friggin' six. Uh, well, tell Steve will probably kill me today. Like I say, I seem to have lost my edge a bit on nine ball, I need to get myself back. Also, I only woke up about 10 minutes ago. We've actually got a Sunday League match this morning. And where's the white going? Right, so... Where's the best way of starting? Probably straight down the cushion. It should clear up here. Wasn't the most solid shot, but we're up and running. Nothing to do in this rack, that was a big giveaway. Easy enough to secure the the rack. So that's right, let's try a side break. Nice just solid hit. Not from a Saudi full pace. Have we got a shot on the one ball? Well we've got a shot to nothing here. Or have we? No, I thought we had a double, but we haven't. So I'm gonna play safe. Try and get the, try and get the white near the red. Well, I have done that, but I've left it. But I've talked with Kieran, but the problem is the computer is a very good Qist, but he's made a real mess of that. So survey the table. Two to the three is the hard shot. Now we're going to try and come between the 5 and the 4, and then back through the 7 and the 8. So this is a, a tough shot here. Well, we didn't get through the 7 and the 8, but we got the main part of the job done of having an easy shot on the 4. So here I'm going to attempt to... Oh, that's a good shot. That's leaving the, the 4 in the side. So that's two good shots there to open this rack up to get the hardest part out of the way and the rest of it should be easy that obviously this, the 8 to the 9 is the only part that should cause any sort of thought could have been a little bit further up um, now the position is guaranteed but the pot's a bit tricky but I get it straight in could do with a kiss on the 9 I haven't got it so now I'm going to have to it's going to be either the centre pocket or the Top pocket. I think it's gonna have to be centre pocket. So let's line it up. Oh, 
that was a good clearance. So we're two one playing this one race to six, just so it doesn't last ages for you. Glad that one went in. So now we're looking for that two to stop so we can knock it into the corner. I don't think I can get it by the just the instinct I've got, so probably gonna push just about there. No, it's gonna have to be there actually. He's pushed that right, so he's giving me that one back. The idea being here that I had a shot in mind, which was to play the two past the eight and get the white behind the eight, but I haven't managed to do that. But I've got the first bit okay. Really, what I should have put a bit of side spin on that white ball just to throw the white across towards the eight after I'd hit it. And what a shot that is! It's all Steve showing us why he's one of the best computer opponents. Just goes to show if you leave them a, a little chance. It's going to come back to bite you. Betwixt in between, but you should get that no problem and has done. Again, not the best positional shot, but it should be okay. Just got to put a little bit of bottom on this ball just to hold for the white in the centre pocket. Got a nice kiss there, and I'll get to 2-2. Two, two. No chance of it in off. Nice clearance. That five's going to go in, I think. So we can actually go for this one, a double, um, I think. I'm going to go for it because I think I can get it in off the five. Ah, uh, guess not. So he's having to play safe there. Um, he has left, I think, a, a shot here. I'm going to have to risk getting stitched up pretty tight. Now the three now goes. Now he's left me with a with an opportunity. What I'm going to do here, guys, is to try and run the eight ball, stop the white dead and have the long two, and that just opens the rack up for a potential clearance. Could have done with that seven not being hampered, but I'll take it. Got to be thinking creatively like that. You always want to open up the balls to try and clear up. So because of where the eight went, the consideration now is where the seven goes. So I need to leave myself a, an angle to shoot across for, for the seven into another pocket out of the middle. So this shot I'm going to be shooting the white across the table. For the long seven, that's good. And now it's just a case of playing a bit of top right hand side on the eight and going to a three two lead. So we're playing well there. Did I get one down there? I think I might have done. One, two. No, I didn't. No. Nope. So that's always frustrating when the racks, they do break very, very differently on VP4. If you guys remember VP3, that terribly old game we used to play, um, you'll remember the breaking was somewhat predictable. Uh, but they've put a lot more effort in this game to make it harder. Personally, for me, they've gone... Again, it's hard because if you have an absolutely set rack, you can predict ball path and stuff like that, so... I think we've suspended our disbelief in in a way. Uh, oh, he's gone gone wrong there. We've suspended our disbelief in a way in order to get a, a better game. Um, but that foul is significant for the match, so we should hopefully be able to clear up. Deliberately left myself. I'm starting to leave myself more angle so I can move the white around. My natural game is to leave myself too straight 
That hit on the black was fortuitous. But I should be okay just to slide around the back, leave myself an angle to drop down for the nine. Now this isn't great. Rather than hold, I'm going to go round three cushions. Like that, that's worked well. One, two, and there's my third one. For a 4-2 lead in a race to six. When it breaks, it's a good lead. But remember, Steve can easily run, run some good racks. So we'll have to be play well till the end. This one will be a good indication of how I'm playing here. Struggle with these lineups on these, and I've gone too shallow. That's a shame. However, I was always going to leave myself a containing shot it was always a double edged sword there oh he got straight past it I think yes he did so here's a, a real chance to go 5-2 in the lead it's quite rare that I beat tall Steve that was a bad shot left myself the easy safe though but that was a bad shot and that was even worse that was horrendous I was always, those shots are so tough because it looks like it's a guaranteed safe but wow um got away with that one I shouldn't have got away with that one I got very very lucky there so if I clear up here I'm uh, a lucky boy just got to avoid seeing behind the seven with that you just put a little bit of bottom on and hit it that was probably I was over hit by, by quite a way going to use the eight balls as stopper oh no I'm not see sometimes I do stuff it doesn't work out but as long as you're doing it where you can hedge your bets a little bit. That's okay. Got lucky there on the seven. That was a bad shot. So now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Give us a break. That's probably the worst shot I've played in my VP4 video series ever. And I'm glad I lost that effort. That could be a turning point in the entire match. We'll have to wait and see. Dear me. Awful. Just remains to be seen how many racks that'll cost us. That's just one of those weird lack of concentrations that, you know, it's almost difficult to explain why you've done it really. Now he's playing safe there, which I find surprising. Uh, don't think there's any real value in me going for the. Where's the where's the line here? Just before the just one and then nestle on this. Oh, I missed it. That's a foul, that's a shame. Great shame. There it goes to the combo. Good lad. So four four. That shouldn't have been the case, but my own fault on that one, I've only got myself to blame, so I need to make it I need to put it right with this clearance here. Want to get past that nine ball? That was what I was all I was thinking about there. That's a good shot. And again, just straight, straight up and down. So a couple of good positional shots to start this run. Gonna need just another one here. Didn't get it. That's a bad shot. I wanted to get back for that ball in the middle, so I'm gonna need a good shot here. And I've done it again too thick, so poor. Had me chances to put this guy away. It's never nice when you lose like this when you've had loads of loads of chances to win. Don't think I'm gonna get any more chances in this frame. No, it looks like he's got this one sorted. So five four, so big mistake at four two and I like how in these Oh I lose the match. But there you go, so I lose 6-4, unfortunately. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> I keep forgetting I always set the settings that the 9 gets spotted, so I don't let lose not a golden break. So we get to play on. But it is quite interesting that in this match, you always get loads of swings and turns. And uh, I think it looks like I might lose anyway. But it's quite interesting how the, that big mistake at 4-2, that one shot, 
in a match where I was leading. And you'd normally think, you know, it, doesn't, it probably doesn't even matter. And then you, you just lose a match. So it's quite instructive. Every match is instructive to remind you. And it's sensible, really. That's a great clearance, and that's me last six months. Um, so I lose that match, but it's really interesting to kind of think about when you're thinking about playing pool is to remember that every shot is important. You know, you can't ever think, oh, I've got a comfortable lead, I can go for this reckless shot. It's all sensible stuff, and it's all obvious stuff that you think, well, yeah. But you've just got to kind of concentrate on every shot. So I'm going to try and learn from that, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll see you next time. So I lose 6-4, but I enjoyed the game. And uh, check us out on the next video. Thanks, guys. See you soon.